Hi guys, I'm Blue X-Ray, and welcome back to another drawing guide. I know it's been a while, but if you guys look at the calendar today, it has a really specific date, a date that I kind of like, personally. I don't know about you guys. It's Friday the 13th. I know what you're thinking, what in the world, X-Ray? Why are you recording? Like... Honestly, I just like the day because it also re revolves around the movie franchise Friday the 13th. And that brings me here. I'm actually going to do a drawing guide for you guys of how to draw Jason Voorhees, the main character, as you can call it, for the entire Friday the 13th franchise. Because he's, because he's the main killer, I just have to draw him. Like, he's... I just really like him, he's my favorite, and yeah, and like, it was also suggested by my mom, shout out to my mom, by the way, that I do a special evolution of Jason, of him being really young, all the way to what we see him as right now, a full-grown, machete-wielding maniac, he and without further ado, not yapping, and on to the drawing, shall we? <sighs> so the first thing we're going to do right here is draw a big circle. Because if everybody can remember, Jason wears a big old hockey mask on his face. And like he's really popular for his hockey mask and his machete. Probably more machete than hockey mask, but still... That's the first thing we're going to draw, and by doing that, first, we draw a big circle. There. Okay, I know it's not the best circle, but still. Next, we draw two more circles but a little more miniature because that's where he's gonna have to look through right you can't have a hockey mask without having to look through it just been no smiling face that's gonna be amazing so anyways the next now that we got three circles one for the head two for the eyes what we're gonna do next is add his special um, marks, as you can call it. Like, let's see here. Because no hockey mask is complete with the marks on the head. That's one mark. It's two marks. Can barely see me doing the other mark because the camera's in my face. Not oh, dang it. Okay, now we got his three lines. So if you're wondering, like the lines down here are just curved triangles, while the one here is just a simple downwards triangle, but the lines right here are just curved. Okay, next we're gonna make his makeshift little nose. There! Perfect! Now, to do the nose, it's just like a simple L, as you can see. But not too much of an L shape, not too straight, and not too curvy. Just a little combination of both, and you're good. So, this is what we got so far. And what we're gonna do next is put, like, little circles inside. Uh, okay. Now he just... Now it seems like he's looking at us. Ooh. Ooh. Wee woo. So, then on the side, you put like little tiny circles on the side. And you do the same to the other side. There. Now that is like so scary. Wait, um, wait, wait a minute. Okay, now we're gonna put like a little eye shadow, as you would call it. Now, you would do this like beneath 
the little uh, dots on the eyes. Now, what you do next is that you put dots around his hockey mask. Now, you can decide where his dots go, but I'm just doing this by memory. And then again, I'm just trying to do this as as original as I can. And my air conditioner's on. Uh, okay. And right here. So, yeah, that's our first step right there. We got a perfect little mask. Now it's time for the body. We got this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do right here is like draw Jason's like inside shirt or something because he wears a lot of layers. And I don't know how he could do it, like run around in them and kill campers on the same time but that that's just him so pretty much as you just saw we did like a little line right here now we're just gonna go down and we stop right there then we just go up then oh wait yeah then we go up and over. And it's just starting to come together. So next thing we're gonna do right here on this spot exact. We're gonna go along the line and like give him a little uh, shirt, I believe. Now, as you can see, there's a line going right there, so we connect those lines together to then make like a bended shirt, as you would call it. Then, right here, around this spot exact, we make the thing for the outfit. This is what we got so far. I don't know about you, but I see it coming together. I see it come together really good. Then like over here, right, running right off the last one, we make an, the other part of Jason's hood. That goes right up here. So, if you're having a little trouble doing this, I advise you that you should like go back into the video, see where I was before, and like try to do it as you can see. But then again, if you want to do it your own way, I advise you to do so. That, that'd be nice. So what we do right here is that we're gonna make like the little inside we just go down going down going down going down and you stop and like we do the same for the other side but this time we go like right there now He's starting to come together like we already got like some major parts of that like we're about to get his coat his shirt done now here's what is gonna happen first you make like little squiggly lines because if you can remember earlier I said that we were gonna do like an evolution of Jason type of thing so that means that we're drawing a little mini Jason but an oversized clothes. 
Now, we're going to... S- I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I bet it's going to be, like, really good. So. So, yeah. Okay. So, we got, like, that little bulged up shirt down there. And since it's a little out of touch, let's just put some lines right here. Don't be afraid to, like, add a little something to your Jason. Because, hey, he doesn't mind wearing, like, whatever you give him. Just as long as he's able to, like, you know, move around and such. So, the next thing we do right here off the curve is that we give him, like, little chubby little feet. Now... Like, he has to move one way or another, but then again, at this, he's young, and, like, he's just getting, like, kind of ready to kill. I starting to look, so, to me, starting to look so cute. I don't know about you. So, we got his shoes done, his makeshift shoes done. Now, off the cloak, like, a little bit off the tip. We're gonna work on his arm. Now, don't be afraid to like add some little squiggles here and there, because hello, cloak is oversized. And then you just go up, and right there you got a simple arm. But, hold up, you are not done yet because we are adding like a little square, adding, showing that he does have his arm like, you know, tucked up, so, you know, he won't be, his cloak won't, his arms don't, doesn't always get, you know, dirty. Even though he is short and he is going to be dragging his cloak along, but still. Now, we do the same thing for this side. Just arm going down. Like a little curve over here, but not too much. Then up. Then, of course... A little square on the downside. Don't forget to like add a little detail to your Jason, of course, because he has been around for a long time and he doesn't want like any like anything wrong with his style because when you're killing campers you want to look good in style so right off the cloak a little different from before we put it down and make it look like that oh wait okay after they're doing some fixing. This is what we got. But hold up. We, you notice that we're missing something, right? Like, we got his hockey mask. We got his little makeshift clothes. And we got those little tiny feet so cute. But there's one thing that he's missing. What do you think that is? Yes, that is his machete because Jason isn't completely Jason without his machete. Now, since Jason is smaller than he usually is, he's probably like, I don't know, maybe like the size of his machete, maybe? Now, here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking about drawing his machete like a little close to his face, but not too close. So a little bit off him, we like draw like this little square, I mean line, yeah, and then like we just go down, there, that, that'll be the handle, 
then we just go back to like a certain distance and then if you want you could like put it straight but I'm gonna put it at a curve because he has to put his finger somewhere and of course put two special metal bolts because his machete wouldn't you know so his machete doesn't fall apart because what kind of murderer doesn't what kind of murderer wants his like signature weapon to like fall apart and like in the middle of a kill too so and because he's little I'm gonna give him like a little advantage here and I'm gonna put his machete in the grass in the grassy so he can at least you know easily pull it out now his machete if you don't notice sometimes sometimes had like little holes inside and of course like he just finished killing so we're gonna add like some blood stains right here and if you're like me who faints at the sight of blood then I advise you shouldn't be around when he or he kills someone because that will not end up well for them for either of us so this is what we got and like I'm gonna go off camera color him in and we'll see what we get okay guys I'm back you guys ready for the reel three two one Ta-da! Okay, so I went a little bit all out for this. Like, I put like two shades of green for his inner shirt, like regular dark blue for his inner shirt, like a special, special dark brown for his cloak. Of course, I went a little bit all out here, but I gotta say it's perfect. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, and yeah, I'm Blue X-Ray, and I'll see you next time. Happy Friday the 13th, guys, and see you next time. Bye.